Welcome to Electron Line. While many individuals such as Einstein, Planck, Boltzmann, and Wien were busy trying to figure out that light was quantized, that energy was quantized, there were others who were looking at small particles and beginning to wonder the duality between particles and energy. At a small scale, it appeared that particles were behaving like waves, behaving like photons. Case in point, the electron. For example, in the atom, the hydrogen atom, we have a single proton at the center and we have one electron zipping around the, the nucleus of the atom. We began to realize that there was some relationship between the energy levels and the fact that the energy being emitted when an electron jumped from one level to another was equal to a quantized amount of energy. We begin to wonder that electrons could only exist in quantum states if they also behaved like waves. And it was, um, it was the Broglie who began to realize that the wavelengths, the number of wavelengths in the orbit of the electron around the nucleus depended upon the energy state that it was in. For example, when the electron was in the innermost energy state, the orbit of an electron equaled one wavelength. If the, the energy state of the electron was the second energy level, then the orbit of the electron equaled two wavelengths. And if the energy state was at the third level, the orbit of the electron then equaled three wavelengths. So the equation then became that n, the energy state, times the, number, times the wavelength equals 2 pi r, which is, of course, the circumference of the path of the electron. So here again, we began to realize that things such as electrons would also exist in quantum states. And for that to be the case, we then realized that electrons then had to have wave-like properties that then we can see that as the electron zips around the nucleus, it acts like a wave with a wavelength. So just like energy was divided into chunks of energy called photons that the energy can then be quantized as being equal to some constant times the frequency, it was then surmised that an electron also behaved like a chunk of a wavelength and for that the Broglie received the Nobel Prize in 1921. Ultimately, the equation describing the wavelength of a small particle was equal to, again, Planck's constant, there's that constant again, divided by the momentum of that particle. The momentum, of course, would be the mass times the velocity. So the wavelength of a small particle like an electron in orbit around the nucleus of an atom can then be described as saying it's equal to h, Planck's constant, divided by the momentum or m times v of that particle. So again, monumental discoveries in physics describing the, the totality of quantum mechanics. So you can see that slowly over time, people began to realize these things, things were quantized. There was a very fine dividing line between energy and particles at the quantum mechanic level. And so therefore we now realize that everything at that small level behaves more like a wave than it does an individual particle. And that's the beginning of quantum mechanics.